Jordan Bianchi, the Athletic, you mentioned how you, you like this kind of super weekend with the IndyCar, NASCAR, doubleheader. Uh, what, what do you like about it, and, and what can other series take away from this and, and, and apply? Uh, well, the fans just get more bang for their buck, I guess. You know, uh, watching two great series, and then you have the, obviously the feeder series, the junior series, um, IndyCar Next, and, uh, and obviously the Xfinity series. So it's a lot of racing over a race weekend. Uh, and it's good to see, you know, I would love to see other categories doing the same thing, you know, seeing a, a, a NASCAR race on, a, on an F1 weekend, for example, I think it just brings in a different fan base. Um, and why not? You know, I think the weekends need to be busier, race weekends need to be busier for the fans. There's quite a lot of downtime always. So uh, I think it's, yeah, it's really cool. It's a great idea. All right, we'll come up to Bruce, then we'll go back to Claire and Pat, and have an extra one over here. James, what do you see as the biggest changes between this road course and the road course that Formula One competed at here up to 2007? Yeah, so we, after turn, after turn four, you have the little chicane onto the back straight. We had a sharp right turn and a sharp left turn and a sharp right turn. So it's it's opened it up a little bit. It's a bit faster there. Um, but then the end of the lap where we had the banking and we had the issues with the banking, they put in the, the two corners and I kind of wish they kept that banking corner for NASCAR and for IndyCar because I think it was it's a bit more of a spectacle, I guess. But, you know, it gives us another overtaking opportunity in that third to last corner. So it, it does, they just changed the, the dynamics and the, the, the idea around the circuit. But it looks like a good circuit to race on. You know, I watched the race last year, uh, the cup race, and there's quite a bit of overtaking. Uh, turn one is obviously very difficult, heavy braking, but there's a couple of places around this track that you can line someone up from three corners back and make a move. So uh, I think it's a good race track. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.